my name is Ona Christie. My channel is Art of Awakening, and today we're going to talk about a very small but mighty power animal, and that is the mouse. Uh, so this video will be part is a part of a series of videos that I'm doing to illustrate the cards in my um, Spirit Animal Awareness deck. I'll leave the link to that below. Okay, so mouse, if you've been just inundated with mice perhaps in your house or if you really enjoy mice maybe you have mice as a pet maybe they've come to you in dreams or maybe it's just an animal that's just kind of creeps you out um, any of those are indicators that the mouse um, it may be your personal totem it could be a shadow totem or it could be simply a spirit animal that's here to assist you in bringing you a message so we're going to look a little bit here at the deeper meaning of mouse as a spirit animal Okay, so like with every power animal, there's going to be what I call the superpowers of the animal, which is its divine gifts that it's been given to help it to survive and to thrive. And it's also going to, sometimes it can come up as a challenger, right? So it can have those, that shadow side, and we're going to look at both of these. So let's look at the superpowers of the mouse first. And if you have found yourself interested in mice, drawn to them, maybe you have them as pets, or if they've come into your life in some way, right? Maybe you are having mice in the house and want to know kind of what that might, might want to mean. Or maybe it's an animal that creeps you out or that you're, you know, have a fear of. All these are signs that there's medicine in this animal for you. Um, in, in the former case, if you're feeling drawn to it, it may actually be your personal totem or just a power animal for you. If you're afraid of it or freaked out by it or just don't like them, then it's, it could be a shadow totem for you and something that indicates things to really work through that when you work through those things and the mouse can help you to do that, then it can help you though. It can, you can actually start tapping into the, the power side of it. And, or if it's something that's just kind of come to you to, in dreams perhaps, or maybe suddenly you've got an influx of mice, there's probably a message there for you. So let's look at some of these meanings and hopefully it will help you to figure out why mouse is coming into your life. Okay, so the first power meeting that I want to explore here, and this would be one of the superpowers of mice, is the idea of abundance. So mice are, I like to call them like nature's fast food, almost everything eats mice, okay? Uh, birds of prey, cats, um, wolves, foxes, um, a lot of rep snakes, reptiles, just almost everything is going to eat mice, right? And that means that the mouse has to be extremely fertile. It has to be reproducing very continuously and abundantly. And so that fertility is one of the superpowers of the mouse. Um, I believe they have a 21 day gestation period and they're ready to mate within, I, I can't even remember, but it's insanely fast. And their typical litter is about eight per litter. So they, they really do reproduce at an amazing rate. And so that if you uh, can tap into the mouse as a power animal or as an ally, um, you know, anytime that you need to really produce a lot somehow or be abundant, that's a good one to work with. And in addition to actually procreating very quickly, they are also amazing at going out and gathering. Okay, so um, this would be like any time that you are in a position, maybe you've started a business, maybe you, you just, you know, there's any time that you're looking for more abundance in your life, mouse can also be an, an, an excellent one to work with. You know, it's not something that's going to be bringing in a huge amount at once, but if we're looking at little steps, right? So baby steps is a, you know, something to keep in mind with mice. Um, so if, if mouse is coming up for you very strongly, it could be something that, okay, let's start looking at what baby steps can I take in order to start accumulating what I want to accumulate, uh, amassing the wealth I want to accumulate, or um, creating the project that I want to work on, how, you know, the mouse can help you do it in baby steps, steps or show you that maybe this is the way to go. What little steps do I need to start taking? 
And in addition to that, they're also really, really good at storing up and, you know, hoarding. Um, hoarding can also be a shadow side, right? There's holding on too much, too much, right? But it, let's looking at the positive side. This would be things like um, smart finances, right? Are we going to, you know, saving up a nest egg, saving up or, you know, accumulating things so that you can live well without worry because that's what the mouse does. He brings it all into the nest so that he can go through the winter without having to worry about starvation, right? So this is a, a really good kind of a root chakra kind of security animal that can help you feel more secure so that you can go out in the world and and do you know the the things that you're meant to do without worrying about um you know the the how you're going to make it um another big big power meaning of mouse is this idea of small but mighty and there's i, I used to live in this great big commercial building that had apartments above and it was built in 1916 it, was, it used to be a department store down below and it had a, an attic up top. And I remember one day going up to get my ski equipment out of the attic and finding this boot, ski boot filled with popcorn. I was like, where the heck did this popcorn come from? And I realized that we'd had a mouse in the house the fall before and that this mouse must have carried the popcorn up like two floors and across the building um, grain by grain probably <laughs> into this boot and so this of course uh, illustrates the whole abundance thing but also this this one little animal right it's tiny it's one of the tiniest mammals that there is and is able to get all this stuff done right <laughs> and and just by being persistent so persistence is another really um, strong attribute of mouse as a spirit animal okay they know how to tunnel in they know how to just get it done bit by bit you know without without complaining they just do it um also power of numbers i used to live in for a brief time in this farmhouse in illinois in the farm fields and it was just wave after wave after wave of field mice coming in it was pretty interesting but that does illustrate the idea of one tiny little mouse you probably don't notice a whole lot of difference but when there's a ton of them you just can't ignore them so this is a really power of the people kind of totem or it can be right and being able to have a voice that is heard in a deafening way even though each individual doesn't necessarily have a whole lot of power to be heard but together or working together if you think of the somebody sent me a a photo of the Amish with a barn moving and it's like all these men all these Amish men together lifted up the barn and they're all kind of inside the barn walking and moving this barn this huge huge barn just with manpower okay so that's that's kind of like mouse in a way is that being able to work together to accomplish something um but really more like power of numbers and power of just overwhelming with you know think of letters to senators that kind of thing and finally an important meaning of mouse is humility if it's coming up for you it might be a an indication to look at pride in your life and consider you know um adopting an attitude of humility and we don't always need to work with the great big power animals the eagles the cougars the tigers the bears and everybody usually seems to want those kind of power animals but sometimes there's there's a lot we can learn from the humble things okay and so this could be an indication first of all to look to you know it, it doesn't always have to be big it doesn't always have to be this huge impactful thing to to really make a difference or to uh, be in alignment with who you are and to become who you need to be right or to play the role that you need to play a mouse can play a, a, a very very important role and it can be very impactful without you know without having to be big okay so those are some of the power meanings of mice let's look at some of the uh, shadow side the shadow attributes uh, when the mouse comes up as a challenger Okay, one thing, the first thing that comes up, of course, is this whole idea of fear keeping you small, being timid, 
with you because a mouse will not go into the open. It's 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 it, it tends to just shrink back. Okay, any time that anything comes up that's a little challenging. So uh, if a mouse is coming up as a challenger, it could be an indication to overcome that kind of reaction. Now, sometimes fear is necessary, okay? So sometimes we want to listen to that fear, and, but if it's coming up again and again, or if it's blocking you from being the person that you need to be, then it's time to sort of overcome that, that mouse. And uh, sometimes we can do that. Uh, by bringing in another power animal, and we have a lot to choose from when it comes to mouse. A lot of times we look at the predator-prey relationship, so anything like an owl, an eagle, a cat, uh, something like that. If you can start tuning into that energy, and you, it'll help you to overcome the timidity or the, the fear, you know, keeping you small. Um, another thing, a, a challenger side of mouse is the idea of the, the pilfering or the, the little thief. Okay, so if you've ever walked in your pantry and seen a hole chewed in the bread bag and <laughs> mouse has, you know, peed all over it and stuff, it's it's really not very nice. And so this could be a, it could come up as a warning to you um, to, to look out and, and see where your resources have been pilfered. Okay, or with the potential for that, or where within yourself you're draining away your own energy or your own resources. Okay, um, a lot of times these things come up and they're actually talking about our internal landscape. Okay, what's happening within our internal ecosystem? What part of you is pilfering away your actual life force? Um, little things, right? Um, here's another shadow meaning, death by a thousand cuts, right? The little things coming in, and it's again related to that pilfering. And, you know, where's your energy leaking away? Profit leaks. Okay, if you're looking at financial, I think mouse is a really, really good financial totem. Okay, but the shadow side is this profit leak. So look as in terms of what are you spending? Maybe there are some recurring expenses. Maybe you've signed up for some kind of subscription that maybe it's time to stop that. Right, um, looking through and seeing where the money is actually going and plugging those little profit leaks. That can be a, a really great way to overcome this shadow aspect of mouse. You know, where are you spending where it's really, you're not getting enjoyment out of it, you're not getting returns out of it, it's just leaving your, your pocketbook. Um, and then some of the anti antidotes to mouse as a challenger would be to start sweating the small stuff, right? And sometimes with a big picture animal coming in, maybe we don't need to sweat, sweat the small stuff. We want to really look at the big... Mouse tells us sometimes we do need to look at these little things. Sometimes we need to look at the small little details and start taking care of them. And um, and again, as I mentioned, you know, by, by working with the, the bigger power animals or maybe bringing some of the, the, the power you know, working with the angelic realm or whatever, we can amp up the power, right? Amping up the confidence and working with your solar plexus chakra or, you know, things like that can help to counteract this smallness, um, right? Or even if the humility is coming up, sometimes we can be overly humble. So he may be coming up and saying, uh, you know what? Um, it's it's good to be humble because nobody wants to be around with somebody with a big head, right? Pride comes before a fall, and it really does. But sometimes a form of pride can be to be overly humble and to discount your gifts, right? So uh, we can look at that as well when mouse comes up as a challenger. Okay, so I hope this helps you if you're looking at uh, trying to figure out why mouse is, is coming up for you. Um, if you've enjoyed this, check out, I'm going to put a link here to my playlist of other power animal and, and spirit animal videos. So check those out as well. And I encourage you also to uh, check out my spirit animal awareness oracle deck. Um, and I, I'll leave the link to checking that out here as well. Have a lovely day and we'll catch you again soon.